Pre-crisis phase August 14, 1947 – January 5, 1968 – The dominion of Pakistan, including West Pakistan and East Pakistan, province of East Bengal, was formally established on August 14, 1947. Sir Frederick Chalmers Bond was appointed as Governor of East Bengal and Khwaja Nazimuddin of the Muslim League, Mililita, was appointed as Chief Minister of the province of East Bengal on August 14, 1947. On December 8, 1947, students at the University of Dhaka demanded that Bengali be made an official language of Pakistan. Students at the University of Dhaka organized a general strike on March 11, 1948. Governor General and President of the Pakistan Constituent Assembly Muhammad Ali Jinnah had declared that Urdu would be the only official language of Pakistan during a speech in Dhaka, Dakcha, East Pakistan on March 24, 1948. Governor General Muhammad Ali Jinnah died on September 11, 1948 and Chief Minister Khwaja Nazimuddin took over as Governor General of Pakistan. The Awami Muslim League was established in Dhaka, East Pakistan by Maulana Bashani, Shamsaul Haq and Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on June 23, 1949. Sir Feroz Khan Noon was appointed as Governor of East Bengal on March 31. 1950. On January 26, 1952, a committee of the Pakistan Constituent Assembly recommended that Urdu be the only official language of Pakistan. On January 30, 1952, Bengali students and others established the Bhasha Andolan Bengali language movement in favor of the recognition of Bengali as a national language in Pakistan. Prime Minister Khwaja Nazimuddin, who was of Bengali origin, spoke out in favor of Urdu as the national language on February 21, 1952. Government police and student demonstrators clashed in Dhaka on February 21-23, 1952, resulting in the deaths of 10 individuals. The West Pakistan government announced the discovery of a secessionist conspiracy in East Pakistan on January 6. 1968. Government police arrested Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, President of the Awami League. On January 18, 1968, 34 other individuals were also arrested by government police. And three of these individuals were killed in prison. Government police fired on demonstrators in Dhaka, East Pakistan on December 7, 1968, resulting in the deaths of two individuals. Eight opposition political parties established the Democratic Action Committee in Dhaka on January 8, 1969. Sixteen individuals were killed during demonstrations in East Pakistan on January 24-30, 1969. Some 675 individuals were killed in political violence in East Pakistan from December 7, 1968 to January 30, 1969. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was released from police custody on February 22, 1969. President Muhammad Ayub Khan abrogated the 1962 constitution, imposed martial law, and handed over power to General Aga Muhammad Yahya Khan on March 25, 1969. Legislative elections were held on December 7, 1970 and the Awami League won 167 out of 313 seats in the Pakistani National Assembly. The AL also won 288 out of 300 seats in the Legislative Assembly of East Pakistan. The AL proposed transferring powers from the federal government to the state governments. Some 170 individuals were killed in political violence in Dhaka on March 1, 3, 1971. West Pakistani troops fired on Bengali demonstrators in Jadevpur on March 19, 1971, resulting in the deaths of some 50 individuals. West Pakistani troops fired on Bengali demonstrators in Saitpur, Rangpur, and Chittagong on March 24, 1971, resulting in the deaths of more than 1,000 individuals. President Aga Muhammad Yahya Khan declared a state of emergency in East Pakistan on March 25. Government troops from West Pakistan launched a military offensive against Bengali nationalists, including Bengali troops and policemen. 
in East Pakistan beginning on March 26, 1971. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested by West Pakistani soldiers on March 26, 1971. The government of India expressed support for East Bengali rebels on March 31, 1971 and provided military assistance, weapons and training beginning in June 1971. East Bengali nationalists formed a Liberation Army, Mukti Bahini, to fight West Pakistani government troops commanded by General Tikka Khan. Pakistani troops killed more than 1,000 civilians in Janjira and other towns near Dhaka on April 1, 1971. The U.S. Government imposed military sanctions cancellation of arms sales against the West Pakistani government on November 8, 1971. India referred the matter to the UN Security Council on November 18, 1971. Mukti Bahini rebels launched a military offensive against West Pakistani government troops on November 21, 1971 and the West Pakistani government declared a state of emergency on November 23, 1971. Some 1,50,000 Indian troops intervened in support of the East Bengalis beginning on November 27, 1971. Prime Minister Indira Gandhi of India appealed for the withdrawal of West Pakistani government troops from East Pakistan on November 30, 1971. West Pakistani government troops launched a military offensive against East Pakistan on December 3, 1971. Some 90,000 West Pakistani government troops and civilians surrendered to Indian troops in East Pakistan on December 16, 1971. Some 5 lakh Bengalis, 5,000 West Pakistani government troops, and 1.050 oh, Indian troops were killed during the conflict. Some 10 million refugees fled from East Pakistan to India during the conflict. 93,000 Pakistani troops surrendering to India. The most high-profile prisoner of war, Pau, Lieutenant General Ark Nayazi who signed the surrender document was hosted not too far from Nagpur. Five decades ago, for over two years, Nayazi, who was the commander of the Pakistani forces on the Eastern Front, was kept at Jabalpur, 250 kilometers from the city. The independence of Bangladesh was declared on the 26th of March 1971 at the first watch by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman.